Keep calm and pray the Psalms. For August the 24th, a Thursday of the second week of Martyr's Day. It is a feast day, hence the red stole. The feast of St. Bartholomew, Apostle. Not to do a whole Bible study on him just for our psalm prayer, but just the importance of Bartholomew. In the Gospel of John, the first chapter, we meet Bartholomew. Verses 43 to 51. Philip goes and finds Bartholomew and tells the grumpy old man, we have found the Messiah who the prophets have prophesied about. And Bartholomew or Nathaniel, same guy, says, can anything good come from Nazareth? He meets Jesus then, and Jesus tells him that he is a Israelite in whom there is no guile, so the King James, in whom there is no deceit. In other words, someone who is absolutely truthful and absolutely looking for the truth. Nathaniel says, how did you know me? He says, I saw you under the fig tree. The significance of the fig tree. You go to the prophet Micah, chapter 4, verse 4 speaks about pondering the need for a Messiah to bring peace to his people. And perhaps that is what Nathaniel or Bartholomew was, was praying about under his fig tree when Philip found him. And so we have, we have Bartholomew. Seemingly always mentioned in pairings with Philip, as the two then were good friends and perhaps they were also sent out on the mission together. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. From the intro it for St. Bartholomew, which is the standard intro it, if you will, for the apostles and evangelists, and the propers. It's Psalm 89, verse 1, verse 5, verses 15 and 16. And the antiphon comes from a total different psalm, Psalm 119, verse 46. I'll have all those in the description below. I will speak of your testimonies before kings, O Lord, and shall not be put to shame. I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. Blessed are the people who know the festal shout who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who exalt in your name all the day, and in your righteousness shall be exalted. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will speak of your testimonies before kings, O Lord and shall not be put to shame. We speak the Catechism, that is, the Ten Commandments, the Apostles' Creed, and the Lord's Prayer. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. 
You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, chose Bartholomew to be an apostle to preach the blessed gospel. Grant that your church may love what he believed and preach what he taught. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Lord, lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. Amen. A blessed St. Bartholomew's Day to you. You have a good night.